This video will cover the topic, complex fraction made of sums involving rational expressions, problem type 1. In this video, we will learn how to solve a problem that involves a sum of a rational expression in the numerator of a fraction and a sum of a rational expression in the denominator. We will learn how to simplify such a fraction. Here is our example. 3 minus 7 over 2w, all divided by 5 minus 7 over 2w. When we look at a problem like this, the first thing we want to do is find a smart way to alter this without changing the value of the fraction. And by so doing, we will get rid of the fractions inside of our fraction. Well, I know that when we have a sum of fractions, we have to get both terms to have a common denominator. Otherwise, they can't be added. Are we doing something like this? We are doing something similar, so good thinking. If we wanted to find a common denominator for the numerator, we would multiply the 3 by 2w over 2w, making it 6w over 2w, which can then be combined with 7 over 2w. And we could do this for both the numerator and denominator, and then perform some last steps for simplification. But let's do this in a less complicated way. How about we multiply the entire numerator by 2w and the entire denominator by 2w? Essentially, this is multiplying the whole problem by 2w over 2w, which equals 1. So it doesn't actually change the value of the original fraction. Start with the numerator. If we distribute 2w into the first term and 2w into the second term, we now have 3 times 2w minus 7 over 2w times 2w. This simplifies to 6w minus 7. Let's do the same thing in the denominator. We'll distribute the 2w into the first term of 5 and to the second term of 7 over 2w. And after doing so, the result is 5 times 2w minus 7 over 2w times 2w. This simplifies to 10w minus 7. At this point, I see that we have 6w minus 7 over 10w minus 7. Is there anything else we can do to simplify this? No, there isn't. This is our final answer. So because there was a fraction in both the numerator and denominator, and they both had a denominator of 2w, I was able to multiply the numerator and denominator by 2w to cancel it out. When we have problems like this, we look for ways to cancel out the denominators of the fractions in the numerator and denominator without altering the value of the original fraction. If that can't be done, then we find a common denominator in the numerator and denominator of the original problem in order to simplify. Nice explanation. You are now ready to start simplifying complex fractions.